20, 30 percent of the code that is inside of our repos today in some of our projects are probably all uh, written by software. What about you guys? One that we're focused on is um, building an AI and a an learning engineer to advance yeah. the Llama development itself, right? Because I mean, our, our bet is sort of that in the next year, probably, you know, I don't know, maybe half the development is going to be done by AI as, as opposed to people, and then that will just kind of increase from there. To me, is, uh, I think one of the biggest roles of open source, right? Which be is able to take, let's say, um, your, some of your, even, even inside of the Llama family, taking a large model, and then to be able to, uh, to distill it into yeah. a smaller model that has even that same model shape, uh, I think is a big use case. I've always been fascinated by this. I mean, I think the distillation is one of the most powerful parts of open source. I mean, the distillation, it's just like, it's magic. I mean, you basically can make it so that you can get 90% or 95% of the intelligence of something that is 20 times larger in a, in a form factor that is so much cheaper and more efficient to use. This for kind of server production. But a lot of the open source community wants even smaller models. But being able to basically take whatever intelligence you have from bigger models and distill them into whatever form factor you want to be able to run on your laptop, on yeah. your phone, on whatever, whatever the, the thing is, I think is just, I, I don't know. I mean, it, to me, this is like one of the most important things.